Splatoon's character and environment designs take a lot of inspiration from marine biology, but did you know that Splatoon collaborated with actual marine scientists during Splatoon 2, even hosting a themed Splatfest? Splatoon 2 had a huge collaboration with Jams Tech, the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology. This agency is at the forefront of ocean research and tech in Japan, sending out high-tech research vessels to explore and understand the oceans and how they're responding to global environmental change. Throughout Splatoon 2 and beyond, you'll see real technology and gear from Jams Tech represented in-game, one of the most prominent being our good friend, the Autobomb. In Splatoon, the Autobomb is a sub-weapon that follows the target player on foot once deployed and then explodes in a splatter of ink. Its design was inspired by the submersible research vehicle used by Jams Tech called the Shinkai 6500, which is about 10 meters long, so much bigger than the Autobomb appears to be. This holds three people and can dive as much as 6500 meters deep hence the name. It's one of seven manned submersibles in the world that can dive to this depth. Some of the features you'll recognize on the Autobomb are the colored section on the top, which is an observation sonar area, the two black pieces on the front, which are lights, very important in the deep sea where the sunlight barely reaches, if at all, the feet, which are robotic arms and sample baskets for collecting specimens, and circular features toward the back, which may represent the propellers of the vehicle's thrusters. The Shinkai 6500 investigates earthquake sites in deep sea trenches, underwater volcanoes and lava flows, and hydrothermal vents, which are these fascinating ecosystems where heat and chemicals from the Earth's interior come flowing out into the oceans. These vents also inspired the Scorch Gorge map in Splatoon 3. Shinkai collects deep sea rock samples and water samples that give us clues about how the Earth formed, how life can evolve in harsh habitats, and how the global ocean environment is changing over time. Needless to say, the real-life Autobomb is doing some really important work in the name of marine science, and thankfully not blowing anything up along the way. A more realistic version of the Shinkai 6500 also appears in the background of Splatoon 2's Octo expansion. Another Jans Tech research vessel, known as the Chiku, appears in the background of the Manta Maria stage. Just turn your camera over here and you'll see it. The Chiku is a deep-sea drilling vessel vessel that collects rock core samples from below the seafloor to study Earth's history and earthquakes. There's an entire laboratory on the ship so researchers can get started studying those samples as soon as they're collected. Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion also contains references to Japan's very first manned research submersible, the Shinkai 2000, which could dive as deep as, you guessed it, 2,000 feet deep. Agent 8's remote for pulling up the deep sea metro map closely resembles this vehicle. The shape is similar, it has fins in the same spots, and the red joystick matches up with the sub's entrance. Unlike the Shinkai 6500, the 2000 is now retired and on display in an aquarium in Japan. If you're wondering where I'm getting all this information, it turns out Jams Tech made a super in-depth website in honor of its collaboration with Splatoon 2. There's tons of pages, they're all fascinating, and they're in Japanese, but even with Google Translate, Translate, you can get a decent impression of what's being said, and I highly recommend perusing it. They also confirm the species of every one of those deep sea metro creatures, so I wish I knew that when making my video on them because I just had no clue what the shark guy was. It's a bird beak dogfish, so there you go. I'll definitely pin a comment over there with this update. But that aside, there's two other features of the Jams Tech collaboration that I want to bring up. The first is the Salmon Run Gear Oceanic Hard Hat. This is based on the actual gear that workers at Jams Tech wear for protection when working on the deck of a research vessel. The hats even feature the actual Jams Tech logo. And lastly, the Jams Tech collab featured a Japan-only Splatfest. Unknown creatures versus advanced technology. Which is more exciting? I love this theme. It perfectly encapsulates the wonders of marine science. The weird and wonderful creatures of the ocean that are still so mysterious to us in so many ways.
days, so it's very exciting to see what gets discovered. And at the same time, none of that discovery would be possible without the amazing technology that scientists have created and continue to create to understand our Earth and beyond. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I love to discover the real-world inspirations behind our favorite games, especially when I get to bring in my background in environmental science like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.